Oh, just trying to figure out which card to tackle next. Oh yeah, her armbands. Gonna follow the same spot over here. I'm just trying to see what I can add to these to make it more detailed or to make it pop more. In the original design that I had for her, she has um, she has like a blade right over here, like she has a strap that goes around, and then she has like a blade right there. But I don't know if I still want to keep that design. Like it looks nice in my opinion, but. I feel like there's already enough going on where I could just put the belt, like the, the knife on the belt or something like on her side, like over here or something, you know? I think that works better. See how to finish up her torso, and then we can work on her pants. Thank you. 
I just don't know how to finish this up. Like this bottom piece. Or the bottom of the torso. Like I don't want, I don't know if I want this to be kind of like, um, like that fitted sort of fabric that stretches, sort of like, um, like if you wear a hoodie, if you know what I'm talking about. Like I don't know if I want it to be like that or something else. And this whole thing is supposed to be a zipper too that I haven't gotten around to actually doing, which I probably should. I think it's actually easier right now. Because if I darken it, and then I just use an eraser to like carve out the zipper. You'll see what I mean in a second. I've been putting off the zipper for too long. That bottom part is a lot thicker than this top part. So I'll try to even it out right here. Because I want this itself to be the zipper, and then this is like the stitching that's on the outside. The canvas that I'm working on is not that that large. Mainly just because it makes it run smoother, the program itself, and then also if I'm to stream, I can't have something that large because then it would just like lag out. Not the cleanest, but it'll do. Thank you. 
This part I need to fix, because this is part of that whole zipper crap. Um, but it doesn't look like it. Play the same dude. Time for the next one. It's so weird for me. I don't know if anybody else experiences this. I'm pretty sure people do. Um, but whenever there's like a playlist that's going on and you're like zoning out and you're feeling it, it's like you're in your kind of like a weird kind of high like a musical high I guess and then once it stops it's like whoa 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 what happened like why am I back to reality mm, I'm feeling lazy but also practical I don't want to draw this whole thing when I can just shift it Just leave it like that. You know, this part over here, you guys know what I'm talking about.
Oh, hey, Timothy was here. What's up? Um, the way the beat Blue Beetle, you just gotta turtle him, honestly. Like, turtle the hell out of Blue Beetle. Like, don't engage at all. If you have the life lead, or even if you don't, just keep your distance. Oh, crap, I'm releasing the wrong thing. But yeah, don't engage in Blue Beetle. Like, even if you don't have the life lead, just like walk towards him. Don't like roll in, don't dash in, don't do nothing reckless. Just walk towards him and get within a shield toss range and just keep on throwing shield tosses. Like, you will catch up just by chip damage. You can take my word on that. Um, but yeah, just you'll, you'll catch up just by chip, and if he tries to check you, like with zoning, you can either duck it or parry his projectiles, and then he's not even gonna reach you. And then once you get the life lead, just go back to turtling. Just go back to keep him backing up. You know, if he jumps over you, just do a shield bash, and you'll wind up on the other side, and he has to chase you down again. Um,. But yeah, it's a matchup that you, you just don't want to engage in him at all. Hey, initiate feed, how's it going? Uh, with Flash and all his cancels, um, I don't think that any of them are plus, or maybe they are. I think they're just safe. Um, you would have to test that out for yourself, though. Like, I don't know his exact frame data, but I, I don't think either, any one of them are actually plus. I think that they changed that from the first game. Like, that was one of the biggest changes that they made. I mean, his shield bash is stupid, but you can parry the shield bash, and on whiff, you can still punish it also. Like, it, it, you had to lap against Blue Beetle, like, you just want to lap his range, so that you know, you know, like, when you can actually, like, press something. Or when you can be out of range, so that you can whiff punish. He, he's not as complex as he looks. I'll tell you that much. Oh, what the hell? The race is still too large of a size. Hey, Scott to Scott, what's up? Oh yeah, anyone that just like joined in, if you want to see how it's coming along, that's like the full thing right now. Well, this is like a trial. Like the coloring still isn't finished or nothing like that. Uh, but yeah. Blue Beetle's annoying, but again, don't engage in Blue Beetle. Like, don't engage the character. Make him come to you. And then punish him for trying to come to you.
<laughs> Thank you, Scott the Scott. No, yeah, I, I like that look too, which is a bad habit of mine because then I actually start coloring everything like a lot, like really, really ahead of time. I don't even know what the fuck I was trying to say. But I start coloring things like ahead of time before it's actually finished because I like that look and then it like, takes me forever to actually finish the actual thing. It's like a coloring book that I made, you know? <laughs> Alright, I gotta remember, how did I have the drawing before? I know that I gave her like, um, like these straps and all, but I don't remember the exact design. It was like something like this. Something like that. Oh, that's right, and then I was over here, and then it was connected to her waist a bit. how that looks which layer was that oh my god what layer was that on oh okay I thought I put it on one of the other layers by mistake Why does it only show us two viewers? Let's see, I see seven. Um, should I keep this? I'm gonna move this up a bit. I think I moved it up too much. Mm. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I just want to get most of these details down before, like, the end of the stream itself. Like, for the boots, she has a couple of straps on. So I think, like, four or three. I think four will work. Yeah, four will work. I'm just like roughing in these things so I, I know what to add.
This is like my little map. Why is this color so much lighter than the rest? What the hell? Mm. Oh, when did the opacity drop? Also, if you guys have any ideas like on the design and whatnot, feel free to pitch in. I am more than open to ideas. The reason why I'm going outside of the lines too is because when I draw stuff, like if it's a certain pose, I usually use actual reference of like people. And most of the time the references are nude. So, you know, it's obviously like you see toes and stuff like that. Um, or like, you know, obviously like their genitals and like their breasts and whatnot. Like for this character, um, for the model, like her breasts were like, obviously because she didn't have a bra on, you know, they were a little lower. So when I end up doing the drawing itself, I have to take into account like gravity and whatnot. Or like having shoes on like this, you know, like it groups up your toes instead of them just being spread out. Like over here as well, it's gonna be grouped up. Um, or like with breasts, it's like if you have a bra on or something like that, you know, they're not gonna be as low as the model has them. Ninja stars? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do that here. But not exactly ninja stars, but she has like daggers, like little daggers that she throws out. Oh, that's okay. It's um, it's one of my own characters. It's an original piece. Uh, yep, you can see a full view. I'll just erase this. And I'm doing, um, I'm doing a model sheet. So I'm doing the character in all these poses. So that the person that's going to be modeling it or animating it, they can actually just like, have all these um, angles as references. So, I mean, it's still a long way to go because I had to draw this entire costume and every single one of them. <laughs> along with coloring each one. But I don't know, it's fun. For me, it's exciting. 
Let me see if I can find... I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's what I was told for a bit. Like, female version of Vega. Which was cool. Like, I... I don't know if I have an actual image of her up. Because I have, like, a lot of weird stuff on my laptop. I feel like everybody does. So I don't want to accidentally, like, live stream, you know, like, all these files. I could, like, defend 99% of them, but... I'd rather not. <laughs> Because I want to show you guys how like the finished more or less looks. Uh yeah, I'm using um a Wacom. Is it Wacom or Ben? Yeah, it's Wacom. I've had it for a couple of years. That's why I forget what the hell it even is called. Like right now, just like blocking in everything. And, I don't know, for me this is fun because it's like a challenge too, because I'm adding all these details and whatnot, but at the same time I have to take into account, okay, you're adding all these details, but now you got to know where they all fall in all these other angles as well when you draw them. Oh, you, you do animations? Oh, I see, I see. I don't even know what this song is, but I'm like, really feeling it. <laughs>
Yeah, like I, I love this kind of music, especially when I'm drawing. It doesn't really matter what I listen to, but I prefer listening to this because you get to really zone out. And if it's something like this, it's so chill. It's like you just end up pondering about a lot, and you really, really zone out. Um, no, but yeah, that was kind of similar to me. Um, as a kid, I always wanted to do art, and I did for a little bit. I went to school for animation, but I only did a year. And then after that, I went into the medical field. So I still do it on the side. Like, as you can see, I still do it as a hobby. Um, but I still do want to make something of it. Like, I still want to make my own fighting game. This is one of my characters that I would have in here. Yeah. Yeah, some music is actually, it is very distracting. Something like metal. It's like, I can listen to metal. I do listen to metal. But... Yeah, for drawing, I'm like, uh, I mean, maybe if you're angry, sure. You can actually channel it really, really well, but... It was cool, like, it was nice, you know, like, I went to high school, I went to an art high school, so I was already accustomed and I already enjoyed that art environment. Like, I don't know, art students are they're very, very strange, but they're cool. Um, so it, it was more of that, but, the, like, the curriculum itself and then the environment was really, really nice, too. Like, just seeing artwork all the time and other people's artwork and having a lot of, you know, like, art contests and whatnot. Um, oh, it was cool. It was fun. We didn't get to learn too much within the first year. Um, like, we under, like, they taught us Maya. Or they taught me Maya. So I know a little bit of it. And I know a little bit of animation itself. And I, I was able to take figure drawing classes with, like, live models and all that. So that was fun and cool and definitely worth the experience. And then there were other classes, you know, like um, trying to get your creativity out and whatnot. But yeah. Like we had a basic modeling class and then we had a class that involved like learning Photoshop and how to like alter images and stuff like that. But yeah, I wish I could have stayed, but it was getting too expensive. The school had like, um, it had a motion capture room also. So that was really, really cool to see. But only like um, like the alumni students or people pursuing like a master's or something were able to actually use it. I mean, there were bor boring parts, and you did have to read stuff like that, or at least had an understanding. Um, so that's what helped me, actually, surprisingly. Um, but in a way, it makes sense. That's what helped me understand fighting games more, and actually helped me become a better player, was because I started understanding frames and how they worked. So that's why it annoys me, or like it really, really irks me when people try to talk about frames, like they actually know what they're talking about. I was like, but you really, really don't. And, you know, it's like... And the fact is, when you have to animate or when you create the animation itself or when you make a game, the developers themselves or the people that make the game, you know the frames. You have to code the, the frames, you know? So when people tell me that it's like, oh, you know, how are they supposed to know or this isn't this or it's like it's not intentional, it's like it's 100% intentional. They can easily change this stuff. It's all just numbers that you enter. You can just edit it at any time. So that's what annoys me when people don't think that 
developers aren't as biased as what they currently seem to be. It's like they have full control over all this information and over all this content within the game itself. Like if something, if the cancelled advantage of something is plus 20, it's because they chose it to be plus 20. Same with like on hit and on block and all that. I think this would look cooler. Oh crap. I hit control F which basically flips the canvas and you got an ass shot. <laughs> Why does it do that? Yeah, I am too. Oh, that's also no in another thing, like with all the models. Like, um, this isn't their actual physique. Like, for the actual models, a lot of them are either, they're either thicker, very few of them actually look like this. They're either thicker or they're skinnier. Um, so for me, I kind of, like, I use their body as reference, and then I just, like, add on, like, extra meat, you know, let's say, like, extra fat and whatnot, or muscle. Just to fit like a like a hero like a hero type or a villain or depending on what the character actually is like if they're a fighter you know they're gonna have muscle they're gonna be lean um, especially if they're a female then they're gonna have for a woman they're gonna have you know like stronger legs and you know a stronger butt. <laughs> No, yeah, I don't know. Like, most of NRS's choices are questionable. And that's why it irks me that much whenever they try to play dumb about stuff, or people try to tell me, it's like, oh, well, they didn't intend to do this. I'm like, um, they have full control. Like, er everything they do is intentional. Everything that's going on in the game is intentional. Except for bugs, obvious bugs. Oh, I want to show you guys. I wonder if it's on one of my recent files. It's not. Uh... Alright, whatever. I want to show you guys this. This is another piece that I was working on. I never went around to finishing it, but... Like this is when like I go all out on a design. Like obviously I didn't finish it, but like I love the detail that I put into it and I think it looks pretty damn awesome. This is another one of my characters. Um But yeah, that's how the full image looks. <laughs> 
I'll probably finish it one day. I definitely I do want to change the torso. I want to change like this chest piece. I think it looks too plain for the character, considering how, how much details and everything else. But yeah. Mm, do I have anything else here? No. This one I was supposed to do a turnaround also, but I just liked how this one image was looking, so I just like cropped everything else out and just stayed on this. That's also why there's so much extra space, was because there were other poses on the side. But yeah. And that's also what bothers me when it comes to like certain games, like their finished product. Um, like sort of like the laziness that comes from it because like dude you have like such an amazing opportunity to like create these characters and actually publish them and make something out of it and you just take advantage of it and just take shortcuts you know it's like you know how many people actually would like love that kind of position obviously it's more like an ethical thing and a moral thing so it's subjective but that's how I personally see it or that's why it and it has an effect for me personally. Not so much like out of jealousy, I'm just like, oh my god, like, you know, if that were me, I, I wouldn't do this, this, and this, and this. It's more just like, you have like such an amazing opportunity, so why don't you actually take advantage of it instead of being lazy about it and taking shortcuts? to imagine how this knife is going to work. Oh yeah. It's fun. It's it's cool having, you know, your own stuff like to create out of your head, but it does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of practice. I think I heard it on the show Into the Badlands. Um, natural talent is no substitute for practice. It's very accurate. It's like it doesn't matter how good you are, if you don't actually practice, you're gonna lose it eventually. I learned that the hard way too, um, like when it came to school and like academics or college, was I kind of just breezed by like middle school and elementary school or high school. I'm like, eh, it's whatever. I never had to study really. But then when it came to college and when it came to nursing, I was like, oh my God, I actually had to study. Like, um, how do I do this? <laughs> like, I was so lost for the longest time. I was like,
<laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to get into music. When I was going to school for animation, I actually bought a cello. Because one of my roommates got a cello. And they're like, you should get one. And being a stupid college kid, I'm like, yeah, let me get a cello. I got a cello. But I never actually learned how to play it. And then I didn't have enough space or enough money to actually, you know, pay for the shipping for the cello back to New York because the school was in Florida. Um, so I ended up having to leave it behind. Like, it wasn't an expensive cello. It was, like, one of those, like, $300 ones that you can find online that are, like, of different colors. Like, it still played nice, but it wasn't, like, a legit, legit cello, you know? Like, I learned, like, a few strings here and there, but that was it. I don't know how the hell to make this handle. I don't know what to do with this handle, so I'm gonna forget about it for now. Like, I love string instruments. I, I said that in a, in a previous stream, my, my drunk string, <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, no, I just, I've always been drawn to the show, like I love the sound of it, I think it sounds amazing. Like it's so rich and deep and... I think I heard somewhere, or read somewhere that it's one of the instruments that closely resembles like a human voice, like human vocals. I still got seven. Oh, I'm happy you guys are actually still here. Thank you for sticking by. Alright, so I'm more or less sticking to this design. So... Start getting rid of all of these extra lines. Daggered, I don't want to play right now. This is also part of the reason why I don't stream sometimes, it's because I'm like drawing. So, and I, I, like I was saying before, I can't do both. I mean, I can, but I usually start getting into a zone that I just want to draw and only draw. Um. Oh yeah, college is it's not gonna get easier. 
my recommendation when it comes to college is everybody in the back of their heads they know when you should do something it's like i really really should be doing this now you know if you if you hear that in the back of your head just do it you know it's like hmm, i should be studying i should be doing this i should do this assignment just do it don't put it off from personal experience it's gonna bite you in the ass too many times and you're gonna beat yourself up over it over and over and over so it's better to just do it Oh, that's not on that layer? Okay. Oh, what the? What, what am I doing? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, kind of like me. I, I, I remember most of the content that they say in class. I'm like, oh, I don't need to study. Come to test day, I'm just like, hmm. 